हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू जीके कोड लैब्स सो दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी शॉर्ट बट ऑन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इट्स अबाउट अ सिनेरियो वेयर मेनी ऑफ अस फॉरगेट टू कंसीडर नल्स ऑन द लॉजिक दैट वी आर बिल्डिंग इन एनी नॉर्मल एसक्यूएल और स्पार्क डेटा फ्रेम्स सो नल्स इफ यू नो दीज आर वेरी स्पेशल काइंड ऑफ वैल्यूज बट इन सम सिनेरियोज यू हैव टू बी एक्स्ट्रा कॉशियस Uh, if uh, your desired column might have null values so one of such scenario i have brought up in this video and this is very important and very uh, basic scenario that you might be seeing uh, in your uh, day to day use cases because avoiding this might impact few of the records which you can only capture once you do very uh, thorough analysis of your output but after watching this video i hope you will not make this mistake again where we uh, have name transaction id company id and uh, country and we have to uh, do some manipulation on this data or filter out uh, based upon our conditions same data i have created in one of the file .txt which is separated by uh, tilde so i have created a code which is very simple it's just uh, uh taking the schema and reading the same file so currently if you see if i run this code i get all the records and there are total 14 records so i have uh, printed the count as well now let's say out of this i want only the uh, records which have company code greater than 5 and uh, less than 15 okay so somehow these uh, all i want so what we will do uh, we'll just add a filter on to this dot filter where call of this particular column will be greater than let's say any integer let's say uh, greater than 4 and the same thing call of company will be less than 5 so just a normal filter so this gives us uh, everything that is greater than 4 and uh, less than 15 so but till now it is fine also right now uh, let's say uh, any one of our value which falls under this filter is null so let's say we want anything between 4 and 15 so this is between 4 and 15 right so let me make this as null and let me run it so the 9 is gone you can see so we are getting as expected right anything is greater than 4 less than 15 and uh, the value that we made was uh, null so that uh, doesn't deserve to be in this filter so that is why it is gone but the catch is when you implement non equi joins let's say i want anything but 9 and 15 so in that case what i will do anything but 9 and 15 right so our company should not be equal to 9 and also our company should not be equal to 15 this is what we will do so let me run it so you can see everything is there only 9 and 15 are not there so that is again as expected but the purpose of this video is that now in case anything apart from 9 and 15 so right now you can see uh, our total records are 14 so 15 are the lines one is the header so 14 and as we made the filter on 9 and 15 we are left with 14 minus 2 exactly two records are missing so because that uh, we filtered these two records but now what if anything other than 9 and 15 let's say 6 comes as null now let's see what happens you can see we got only 11 records so the one that we did like 6 we made as null so 6 is also gone from here although that was not in the filter condition so this is the very critical scenario where there are very high chances of losing your records or losing your data 
you can see in front of you we lost uh, the record which had company uh, 6 because we made that as null but filtering we are doing on only 9 and 15 so ideally 6 should come so ideally like in layman language we are saying just uh, filter where company is not 9 or not 15 we didn't mention anything about null so ideally it should come but sql does not allow you to do that so in such cases where you are implementing non equijoins you should always take care of your null values as well if you are filtering uh, with non equijoins on any column which might expect a null value so i hope you got this so thank you guys for watching this video and please subscribe to gk code labs if you have not already done thank you guys see you later